last but not least, we're going to go for the palm tree. I'm going to take my round brush. I'm going to go back to my Crinacridone Burnt Sienna. Nice brown. Okay, this is the time where it's nice to use your other hand as a guide to stabilize your hand. I'm going to think about where I want the top of the palm tree to go and I think I want it to be right around here. And I put a V at the top. Think about maybe a couple of three coconuts and then very very gently start out thin because you could always get thicker but you can't get any thinner than your original one. Eventually I'm going to make it lighter here so that this will look like it's behind it. Then I'm going to thicken up my palm tree just a little bit more. It's probably going to need one more thickening. Looking at the size of those coconuts, it's definitely going to be a palm tree that needs to be a little bit thicker. When I do a palm tree, I tend to do seven leaves or five leaves. I like odd numbers. And I think that gives me enough fronds to make a nice full palm tree. So I start and I start thinking about the line of each of the palm fronds. One, two, three, Nice to have the second hand as an armrest. Four, let's make this one come around like that, like it's a little bit windy. Five, yeah, let's stick to five. I think five is going to be good. Now I use my sap green and I mix it in with this quinacridone burnt sienna to get a really nice dark green that's not too bright. Now this really is a technique that you need to practice. It's just a light whoosh with your arm, whoosh with your arm. See? There's unfortunately no shortcut to making a good palm tree. Oh, here is a great technique too. When I take my round brush and put it in the paint, watch this, okay? I start moving it like this, then at the very end, I turn the brush around in a circle. Did you see that? I first I move the paint like back and forth to get the right texture, and then I turn the brush around in a circle then I'll have a nice amount of paint to just go whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Start from the center of the frond and move to the outside. Start from the center of the palm frond and move to the outside. Look at that, nice and easy. Start out a little bit heavier at the bottom, at the beginning of the front frond, and then I just lightly pick up my brush. And as I'm picking up my brush, I put less pressure on the painting at the end of the palm frond. There we go. Now the top of this, I'm going to have over and up. It's 
kind of windy. Look at that. We're going to put some highlights on it afterwards. You'll be amazed at how much it really looks like a palm frond. Okay, now that was my darks. I'm going to put a couple more darks into the palm trunk. I'm going to use my Crinacridone Burnt Orange with a little bit of blue and get that nice dark brown. I'm going to put some of that at the bottom of my fronds and some of it on the coconuts that I created and some shadows underneath here because there's always shadows underneath the coconuts from the palm fronds themselves. Then I'm going to put some more darks down here at the bottom. All right. I'm going to clean off my brush, make it into a flat brush, and just smooth it out just a little bit to give me the look I like. Now I'm going to take a light, which I've made with yellow, orange, and a little bit of that Crinacridone Burnt Sienna. A bit more orange in it. Looks like a nice color. Let's see how it works out. Yeah, that's a nice color. Maybe make it a little bit lighter with some white. Now I'm going to come into the palm fronds themselves, put some little highlights inside of them. I actually want that to be a little bit more orange. It's the end of the day. It tends to be a little bit more orange at the end of the day. Might be a little bit too much. Add a little bit of green to that. There, that's a nice color. That's realistic. There we go, totally realistic. Just thinking about how if the light was hitting it, how it would turn just slightly a little bit orangey green at the edges. Going back into some of the edges of the palm fronds, giving them just a little bit more. Tips of this up here, come down. Palm trees can be kind of time consuming, so just really take your time. Okay, now I'm going to just do one last thing. I'm going to put just a little bit more dark into the beginnings of some of these palm fronds. Then I'm going to take, once again, my dry brush and just smooth out just a little bit of some of the things that I've done. Not all of them, just a few of them. I could really spend hours working on a palm tree, putting in more and more de detail. But today, I think that's going to give us a really good idea of how to create a simple sunset painting.